<laughs> oh, you get more beautiful every year. You've been saying that since I was this high. That's because it's the truth. Uncle Mayor, I'd like you to meet Mark Davis, my boyfriend. Fiance. Well, hello. Fiance, why didn't your grandfather tell me? It's not official. She hasn't exactly said yes. Yet. Hmm. But I'm hoping she will after a romantic cruise and a little encouragement from an old family friend. Excuse me while I find out which cabins we're in. What do you think? He's very charming. Do you love him? I'm not sure. Grandfather says I should. He's, he's bright, successful. Grandfather would say substantial. From one of the best families. Well, if he's going to marry my best girl, he better be. <laughs> one in the pink and black bikini. Yes. Isn't she beautiful? She's a terrific young lady. so long. I'd like to go. Don't worry, I won't let you. <laughs> Good evening. Laura Jameson, I think you've met my daughter, Vicky. Hi. And our ship's doctor, Adam Bricker. Miss Jameson. Yes, but you haven't met Carlos Belmonte. How do you do? A pleasure to meet you, senora. And this is Dana Colton and Mark Davis. Laura is a very dear friend of mine. Delighted to meet you, Miss Jameson. You're not related to the Newport Jamesons by chance. No, I'm afraid not. Laura, why don't you sit down here, right Thank next you. to Dana? Are you enjoying the cruise? Yes. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Are you? Uncle Merrill's making it a pleasure. Uncle Merrill? Oh, he's an old friend of my father's. Actually, he's been like a father to me since... Well, since mine died. Uh, are you all right, Mrs. Jameson? Oh, yes. I'm just not used to the ship's motion. I've never sailed before. Mark was born with sea legs. His family has a shipbuilding business, one of the biggest, and you should see their yacht. Which one, darling? <laughs> what a beautiful couple. No doubt about that. Mrs. Jameson seems like a nice lady. Oh, she seems pleasant enough. Although, how could I have mistaken her for Newport Jameson? Did you see which fork she used with her salad? You can't imagine what it's been like, dreaming about her, wondering who she sees, what music she likes, how she dresses, little things. Are you ready to find out? Oh, no, please, not yet. I just want to look at her for a while. My little girl. I know what that is. That's the Museum of Fine Arts on top of Manjuic. And there beyond us is the Piazza di Spagna. It was built as part of the 1929 World Exposition. Those towers at the far end, they're copies of the famous clock tower in St. Mark's Plaza in Venice. Who needs a guidebook with you around? Have <laughs> you been to Barcelona before? Oh, no, I've just read about it. I've dreamed of traveling. I'm discovering it's much better to be out living life than just reading about it. Well, how about a picture of the three of you? You wouldn't mind? I'd love it. Come on, Mark. I'm not much for pictures. You two go ahead if you want. <laughs> Fire away. Smile, Laura. That won't be hard. So, Mrs. Encyclopedia, tell us about that. 
It's called the Sacred Family Church, and it was designed by the great Spanish architect Antonio Gaudi. It's been under construction since 1881, and it still has 100 years to go before it's finished. Oh, and I can see why. Look at that workmanship. Dana, work with me. Sacred Family Church. Seems kind of ironic, doesn't it? Well, you two seem to be getting along famously. Like mother and daughter? She's a wonderful girl. She's everything a mother could ask for. But after all the years we've been... Laura, put the past behind you. Think of the years yet to come. I can't believe Laura. She, she knows everything. I don't like her tagging along with us everywhere. Tagging along with you, actually. Well, she's just lonely. What's the harm in us spending a little time with her? Because it's taking away time from us. From you and me. Mark, I think you're jealous. Jealous? Of someone as common as she? Mark. Okay. Okay. That probably wasn't very kind. I just mean that you're the only one I want to spend time with. I love you. Let's catch up with him. Grandfather doesn't think I'll ever meet anyone more right for me than Marcus. What's important is what you think. Well, I know he can be a little stuffy at times, but underneath all that, I, I know he really cares about me. I'm sure a great many people care about you. More than you know. It's just that marriage is such a big decision. It's nice to have someone to talk to about it. We all need someone to talk to, Dana. No, I've never really had someone like that. Someone I felt close to. You know, it's funny. I, I feel closer to you than I've felt to anyone in years. Maybe in my whole life, and I, I hardly know you. Isn't that strange? Yes, that's strange. And wonderful. It's obvious Dana likes you as a friend. Are you ready to tell her it's more than that? I don't know. I feel so close to her now. Maybe that's enough. Maybe it's better to be satisfied with that, not to risk losing her. What if she... What if she forgives you? She was five years old the last time she saw her mother. A lot can change in 20 years. Even a little girl's feelings. You're her mother, Laura. She has a right to know. Oh, what a day. I think we've seen the Costa del Sol from top to bottom. Definitely from the top. It's so romantic. I wish Mark were here. I wonder what Uncle Merrill needed him for. To help out an old friend. What do you mean? Dana, you can't imagine what these past few days with you have meant to me. I don't understand. You told me you sent some special feeling between us. Well, I, I have, but I... There's a reason. There's a very real reason. Jameson was only my maiden name. My married name was Colton. I'm your mother. This is some kind of joke. I don't find it funny. Oh, no, please. It's not a joke. It's been 20 years, but... My mother is dead. Your grandfather told you I was killed in an automobile accident. He felt it'd be easier for you that way. Easier for him, too. Not having to explain to his grand friends that his daughter-in-law was in prison. But I'm not dead. I'm alive. And I'm here. I don't know who you are, why you're doing this to me. My, my mother is dead. No, I'm not. I want her dead.
I'd like to talk. I thought there was nothing left to talk about. In fact, it's probably better that way. I shouldn't have tried to find you. You were better off thinking I was dead. I knew you were alive. You knew? How? A letter came in the mail one day. I saw where Grandfather hid it. Later, I found all your letters. I r read them. I tried to understand. But you didn't. No. Meryl told me that you and he talked. Was it true that, that my father beat you? Yes. Yes, he did. Only no one talked about it back then. It was something people swept under the carpet. Not talked about in polite company. Even in court. And your grandfather would never believe it. Not from the impossibly middle-class girl who married his upper-class son. Why did you have to kill him? When your father got mad, he went into these terrible rages, became violent, beat me. Sometimes until I couldn't stand up. I made excuses for it. But when he turned on you... No, my father loved me. He cared for me. Yes, he loved you. But he hurt you. That night, he took a pot of boiling water from the stove and threw it at you. My scar. I can never remember what happened. I pulled you away from him. When he came at you again, I grabbed the only thing I could reach to defend you. A kitchen knife on the counter. I, I don't want to hear any more of this. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I tried. I, I, I've spent my whole life hating you. I, I just can't stop now. Don't you see you as my father? Dana? Bulls won't wait all day. They have problems of their own. Mark, we have to talk. About our wedding arrangements? Darling, we have months. About my mother. She is alive. I've talked to her. Alive. After dropping out of your life for 20 years, I'm still her daughter. You don't owe a woman like that anything. I owe her everything. Dana, she killed your father. She abandoned you. Now she wants to be a part of your family? Our family. If you could just try to understand why it happened. What she told me... Darling, what's the shock wears off? You'll understand why I don't want you associating with someone like... You don't want... It's, it's, it's always what you want. Your plans. Y you tell me how to dress, how to act, w w what to think. E everything always revolves around you and your family. Well, I finally found something that's for me. Somebody for me. My, my own mother. <sighs> if you can't accept her, then you can't accept me. I can't marry you. Dana? Uncle Merrill figured I'd find you here. He said no one who comes to Lisbon can pass up this view of the city. What will you do now? Go back to the States, I guess. I'm so sorry. Back to the States. It's a coincidence. So am I. Maybe we can go together. What? You know, maybe one of the airlines will give us a special rate for mother and daughter. Oh, my lovely daughter.